What's good YouTube? Uh, so I picked up another Sterling motor and I suppose it you know, begins my journey in this new collection of Sterling motors. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and give it a spin. Just need put some put some alcohol in first. Any left in there? No, don't. These alcohol containers are actually pretty good because they got a. They've got like a spout built into it. And get my phone to stay put. No, wow, it's just not gonna stay put. Sorry. Wow, I did this earlier without issue. No problem. Of course, when you're recording, that's when stuff doesn't want to cooperate. Let me spill the droplets. That's perfect. And go ahead and put that back in. And give it a second to warm up. They say 20 seconds, but, you know, give it a second. Let's see if it's ready. Not quite yet. And uh, this one did come with uh, an extra rubber band for your pulley. If you want to do a green one, or if you if you run out of rubber bands in your kitchen drawer, 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 and you know you got a spare one here, it comes with an uh, LED. I had some LEDs from this other kit. This one, this one came with a ton of LEDs, like like a whole thirty feet of LEDs. So I just cut them out of line one at a time, and I have this one just wrapped around the post, real. Real good quality, and then the light's gonna come out just under the pulley there, which kind of illuminates. You'll see. Oh, let's give it a spin, and there it goes. I didn't know what color the LED would be when I put it in line. I just was like, here, let's try this one. Uh, so I guess we got purple or violet for the LED. This one, if it's like the other kit, which it might be. This one is like, it just cycles through multicolors with different, you know, strobing effects and whatnot. And I don't like that. I like the solid color. Because if it's running, you can see it pulsing. Maybe not so much in the video. I'll have to turn the... There, if I adjust the exposure. You can see it's, in real life, this is kind of more what it looks like. Sort of. So you can see it flashing with the rotation, which makes me always think of, you know, like sending a, you know, the ignition firing or whatever, firing a cylinder off, kind of thing. Anyhow, I like it. Runs pretty smooth. I've experimented a lot with like burn times, how slowly you can run them. Uh, with like the minimum amount of flame. There's a lot of complications to that, so I might have, end up building something like a tank with a... Uh, <laughs> I'll explain the problem first. The problem that you run into, like see here's the, the I have a hole for the wick. You, you really don't want a lot of wick coming out when you're burning alcohol. Like that's plenty, of, that's plenty of wick. Watch. Like when I light this off, it's gonna be a pretty tall flame. Not right out away, but once, once it starts warming up, what happens the container gets hot, heats the alcohol up, the alcohol you can see it's evaporating in there, and it builds up pressure and it starts jetting out of the hole in the top, so it, the, the, the amount of, the, the amount of heat that you get varies over the burn time, and it's hard to control that even just by making the wick small. That's what I found works best, is just start with a small wick and let it heat it so you know once it gets up the temperature the flame will get tall like that 
but if you start with the wick out, like this one is, with with this container at least, it, the flame is really tall. So you you experiment a lot with getting the flame right, even like just little stuff like that. Um, what was I gonna say? Going back over. Yeah, it came with that extra cylinder thing. If you ever break it, you can, you know, replace that if you ever had to replace it. Uh, and these are the little, the little um, <laughs> O-rings that seal. You can kind of see it in there. See the orange. So those seal the cylinder tube thing. Uh, yeah. My, definitely my new addiction. I've got like 20 of these in my cart, and I just got these brand new shells to load up. And got my little syringes and all these little jars that I can try different types of fuel with and stuff. I'll probably, I was thinking about making a very small, like, wood burning stove. I wouldn't be burning wood, but that kind of a design to control the burn. Yeah, or I need to bring, like on this here, I was saying once it gets hot, it starts developing that problem where it acts like a jet lighter, it starts jetting the flame out of the container. Venting it doesn't work because then you'll just have, like if you just leave the cap loose or something, then you'll just have flames jetting out around the lid. That doesn't work. So I was thinking I could have the tank, you know, external or away from the heat source somewhere and then bring the source over to the cylinder through like a copper tube and it would have to be like a copper tube because that would keep the flame from getting back to the source of the fuel. And then I could control the amount of burn with, a, you know, like a lantern. I could treat it like a lantern at that point. And even make like a, a lantern housing for it so that I could get a cleaner burn, a hotter, more focused burn directly onto the bulb. Um, yeah. And, it could, and then I could control the, the flame with, with a, whatever that is called, the dial or something that's on a, on a, uh, oil lamp. So yeah, they're fun to experiment with. Definitely going to be a, a lot of experimenting with these hours of endless entertainment. Check it out. Turn this thing around so you can see the other side. The other side. I might replace this with a copper tube. Let's see if I can do that and make it have a good seal. That would look cool. Wow, that was abrupt. I didn't expect it to shut it down that quick. I was looking at this as a, you could use this like a control valve to control the speed. But I squeezed too hard. There, I'm hitting the point where I'm able to start slowing down. So yeah, there you go, you can control RPM with a valve between these two cylinders. This is like the cold cylinder over here, the cold side cylinder. This is probably more, see this one over here, they're like right next to each other. This one picks up a lot of heat from this one. And I, I think that's like counter, like against what you're trying to do. This one's supposed to stay colder. 
and you can tell when that one overheats, like it'll start slowing down after like 45 minutes. Because I'll burn it, but it'll keep running. Generally, most of the time, it'll keep running. Even it'll just slow down, and then it'll speed up later on, and it goes through like cycles. <laughs> like personalities and character stem, and, and then I think about how I can improve it. That's what I'm talking about. There's like endless uh, imagination involved with these. Thinking about how you can make them work better. Really cool. This is my new hobby for sure. And when you take the generator off, it'll really spin up. Let's take the generator off. Take that off. Let's see how fast this one turns without loading. I mean, I don't have a way to measure it, but... It's probably like, what? 1300 RPM, 15 maybe? 1000, somewhere in there? Can't be that high. But it works, it, and that's what's cool about them. It works from just the heat source. Close up on the piston. You can see the, the stroke there. It's like creates an after image. Pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Uh, if you have any questions below, go ahead. Or if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them below. I'll put a, I can't put a link, but I can put the description of this one in the title. And if you were to look on Amazon, you would probably be able to find it with that information. Y'all have a good weekend. Take care.